carry on from that game and what would you like to improve after that game against the Lakers? Uh, I felt like the third quarter for us was really good. Um, we really fought in the second half. Um, we brought effort and we were playing together as a team. And for us to win in this league, we got to do that for 48 minutes. So uh, I think that needs to carry over to the next game and we have to start start games like how we uh, finished the game today. So I think that's uh, why we lost the game because we didn't start well. So, yeah. Rick? BJ, you may have addressed this already, but did you feel a different spirit in the second half compared to the way the first half went? Yeah, I mean, we uh, didn't want to lose by 30 like we did last night. So we just wanted to come in and uh, just be aggressive. And we knew we could uh, win a game. I mean, we were down big, but we felt like we can come back, and we did that. So for us, it was just trying to be aggressive on both ends and uh, sticking together. And uh, we just keep fighting. We knew we would uh, inch our way back into the game. We gave ourselves a chance. Rod? Hey, PJ, you mentioned having to play for 48 minutes. Um, why do you think as a team you guys sometimes don't do this against, especially better teams in the league, um, you know, to kind of, I guess, go out there and show you guys can do it for a full game? It's a great question. I mean, I feel like if I knew that answer, we wouldn't we wouldn't do it. So uh, for us, we just got to come out with the same energy. Um, whether I mean, if, even if our guys aren't feeling good, we got to come in and just be aggressive on both ends of the floor and play together as a team. So for us, I feel like the first half, uh, we kind of lost that game. Um, we fought our way back in the second half, but we dug, we dug ourselves a big hole in the first. So for us, we can't dig, dig ourselves uh, into a hole and we just got to come out and fight from the jump. Will? PJ, what, if anything, specifically did Coach Borrego say to you and Miles in terms of the, the shakeup of the lineup uh, at halftime? He didn't say anything. I mean, he just told us this was going to be, and we just got to go out there and fight. I mean, for me and Miles, we are kind of just – we're kind of like the glue guys. So we do whatever we need to do. We do whatever Coach asks us to do. So we just come in and work hard on both ends of the floor, and uh, we try to be that uh, for our team. So I think me and him are really valuable. We're really versatile. We can guard multiple positions. You can hit shots, and uh, for us, for our team, I think that's really good for us. Mike? PJ, I, I want to ask this in a, in a uh, in, in, in the proper way. It's not that you guys have a bad attitude, but do you guys need an attitude adjustment where you guys need to maybe go after, I mean, have that killer instinct? when you hit the floor at the start. I'm not saying you guys aren't trying, but, you know, coaches want you guys to go out there and scratch and claw and fight for the entire game. Is there – do you guys need to maybe turn on a killer instinct against every team? You yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think it's necessary attitude. I think for us it's just uh, will and want to. Uh, sometimes guys are tired. Sometimes guys are not feeling great, and uh, we just got to fight past that. I mean, we know it's a lot of games in this league, a lot of great players in this league, and we're playing the best players in the world each and every night. So – for us to win, we got to bring it from the jump, and sometimes we don't. And we just got to figure figure that out and uh, try to clean that up next game. I guess the word might have been mindset. That might have been better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, PJ. Uh, Danny. PJ Danny Thompson with a three point conversion. Even though you guys didn't win tonight, that beginning part of the third quarter was uh, I think it was a nineteen to six run. Is this the type of stretch or type of game that can kind of spark? the next three games on his road trip as you guys take on, you know, the Clippers, the Spurs, and the Rockets to maybe kind of adjust his road trip to be a much more of a winning three and two road trip potentially? Yeah, I mean, we look at that second half. I mean, we played really well both into the floor. Um, we were uh, selfless and we passed the ball. We made shots and uh, we played defense. So for us, like I said, many a time, you got to play 48 minutes of that. And the uh, next game, that's what we're trying to do. I mean, we're trying to come out from the jump, from the uh, tip ball and just play aggressive on both ends. So, like I said, if we do that, we feel like we can beat anybody in this league, no matter who it is.